Okay guys, welcome back to Star Control. Uh, today, we, I think, are going to finally free the Chenjezu. We can get their epic ships. We can we can create a hybrid race. We're going to actually create a new race today, guys. God, it's going to be amazing. It won't be the Chenjezu anymore. It'll be like, you know, the, the Chenjezu Murnam. Murnaham. Chenjezu Murnaham. It's going to be brilliant. Okay, so... Uh, I think I need to use the, uh, the, uh, the the sun device within the orbit, the, the planetary orbit. Here we go. Sun device. Does that work? Do I need to use it again? I think I might have actually used the, uh, the rosy sphere. Was the rosy sphere gone? Oh! That's how you fix the Ultron! Ah, okay. So you just click on them. Aqua Helix. There we go. And then the clear spindle. Oh, I think I've just fixed the Ultron. Yeah, we fixed the Ultron! Oh my god. That's amazing. I can't believe we did that. Okay, so we fixed the Ultron, that's brilliant. Sun device! We are free. You have flooded our synthesis mechanisms with a wealth of radiant energy. What was supposed to take decades has been accomplished in seconds. The process is incomplete, yet we have emerged. We are the Chimur. Why have you interrupted the process? Well, look at these guys. Look at them. They're, they're amazing. They look absolutely... Amazing. You're the key to helping the Alliance, you idiots. It be great for you to have risked so much just to bring us from beneath the shield. We were not ready, but this is now in the past. It's good English. What is done is done. You are intent on stopping the Urquan. Very well. We are prepared to assist you in whatever way we can. We must first tell you that even before we were placed under the slave shield, we realized that the only way to truly defeat the Urquan was to first destroy their precursor battle platform, the Samatra. This vessel was responsible for the victory of the hierarchy over the Alliance. When it was brought to bear against our worlds, we could not resist it. This must be your priority. This must be your eventual goal. We know what is necessary to achieve this end. But first, we must know what you have already learned. So we will scan the data banks and logs aboard your ship. There. The process is complete. Now we can discuss what you must do. You need to locate the Urquan's Samatra vessel. If you cannot find it yourself, ask those others who are near the Urquan. Perhaps they will know. We have detected the presence of a Dnyari aboard your ship. Though the being is darkly evil and incredibly dangerous, the Talo device you possess has effectively nullified the creature's power over you. However, it will do a most excellent job distracting the Urquan long enough for you to approach the Samatra and destroy it. To defeat the Urquan, you must first destroy the Samatra battle platform. The only way we can envision this occurring is for you to detonate a huge explosive device adjacent to the battle platform at point blank range. We believe that the only weapon which can generate sufficient destructive force is a matter antimatter bomb, but we cannot build one ourselves. Return when you have gathered the resources we have described. Okay, so they seem to have it pretty well planned out for us. Um, yeah, they seem to know what they're doing. I wonder if we can use their epic technology, though. We will 
provide you with the designs for a new class of fighting ship, the Avatar. Sounds amazing. Along with enough chimmer to command however many vessels you may build, Avatar battleships are much more effective than our brood home or x form vessels. In competent hands, these ships can defeat any ship in space. Okay, so, I mean, surely take it down the Urquan. It's easy. Absolutely, absolutely easy. Um, I think we've got, I think we've got the idea. Let's go. Let's get the stuff. Okay, well there we go. There was the Shemur. Or Shemur, I don't know. Whatever, whatever, whatever they, whatever they prefer. Um, so we need, uh, we need the, you know, we need to get the, uh, the bomb. That's pretty much the main thing they're, they're going on about. They want to get this bomb. They, they really, they really want the bomb. I mean, I mean, I don't know if they're actually just, you know, just getting us, getting the bomb and just keeping it, or they really, they really want the bomb. Um, so yeah, let's, let's, let's talk to Greenish now, I think. Here he is. And I think this may be the final time. Welcome back, Captain. Oh, you so sad. Our favorite customer. Now, what can we do for you today? Well... It's our final purchase from you, Mr. Greenish. Our final purchases. So as ever, Greenish, first some fuel. Fill us up. Top us up with a bit of, bit of hyperspace fuel. Fill, fill the tanks. So, useful data on alien races. I think this is the one where there's quite a few left. Like you Earthlings, when the war with the Urquan was lost, the Cyrene chose to be slave-shielded. Their new world is at Beetlejuice. The Cyrene Starbase is crewed by the Starship Commanders and crew who were decommissioned at the end of the war. Though the Cyrene hate the Urquan with a vengeance, they are unlikely to offer you assistance Unless you reveal to them the truth behind the tragedy of their original homeworld, Syra, which was destroyed by the birth of a Marcon Deep Child a century ago. So, actually, if we had just talked to Greenish a little bit more, then we probably would have been able to just tell the Cyrene that, you know, Greenish has the information, but whatever. When the Urquan entered Gamma Serpentis, the home star of the Yehat. Their queen made a sudden change of allegiance and allied with the Urquan hierarchy. They became Urquan combat thralls. This act was viewed by most Yehat starship officers as ultimately dishonorable, the desperate act of a corrupt regent to maintain her throne. The Yehat shame was greatly magnified by the Shofixti's show of courage when they destroyed their own star system to slow down the Urquan Armada. Captain, you have heard all that we have to say about aliens indigenous to this region. Should we learn more in the near future, we shall be certain to sell it to you. Well, there we are. That's actually, that was a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. That's all of the um, information on alien races. The last historical item we have for sale. And now the last historical item. The civil war between the green Urquan, the followers of Kazet Zah, and their opponents, the death dealing Kora, lasted for decades. It is likely that they would have annihilated each other, were it not for a chance discovery. By Kasser Tsar, a precursor battleship. The vessel was huge, many times the size of the Urquan's vessels. The precursor ship sliced through the Kora forces in days. The Kora were defeated. However, in their victory, the Kasser Tsar were humble. They realized that there was a chance that they were wrong. And the Kora were right. Instead of destroying the Kora, the Kazetsa let them go. 
directing them to make their way through the stars, traveling against the spin of the galaxy. The Deserta would travel in the opposite direction, and when the two Urquan forces met, they would fight again in ritual combat, with the precursor battleship given to the winner. Captain, this is happening here, and now. The Kazertsa, the Urquan who enslaved her, are fighting their ritual battle against the Kora, in a large area centered near the Craterous constellation. If the Kora win this battle, Captain, the Kazertsa will stand aside and let them kill us all. We believe it is your destiny to prevent this from happening. We regret to say that you have exhausted our supply of genuinely valuable information. However, we do have many thousands of useless facts, and that we will gladly sell you at a substantial discount. Are you interested? Yes! No way! Hang on a minute! They need to give us an option there. Jeez. What the hell? Oh my word, that's it! That's all that Greenish has to offer! Except for maybe fuel in the future, but, you know, no more information, no more parts, no more technology! It's the end! It's the end. We look forward to your next visit. What a tragic final line from one of the best characters in the game. Oh. It just didn't have to end that way. Well, there we go. That's that's the end of Greenish, pretty much. Um, he's he's given us everything he has, and all we had to do was just find some rainbow worlds and kill some monsters on planets. Well, there we go. Thank you very much, Greenish. Thank you for your time in this game. But now we have to move on to much more serious business. Okay, guys. So we need to start looking for this bomb that the uh, the Shemur are talking about. We need to find it, and we know where the bomb is. It's Zeta Hyades 6B is where it is. But, you know, just like like the Sun device, I'm pretty sure they won't just let us sort of just go to Zeta Hyades and just sort of take it. So I'm guessing we're going to have to find the race that sort of owns Zeta Hyades 6B. So I'm just sort of looking around the Hyades system here, you know, for some sort of life, for some sort of, you know. Is anyone here? Let me go Utwig. This is sort of the Utwig area. Of course, we, we found the Supox earlier. So, you know, they're sort of related in some way. They're sort of friends or something. I have no luck, though. They seem to be uh, sort of hiding away. I don't know where they are. Um, no one there? No one there. I don't know. Maybe they're just... Maybe just today they don't feel... They don't feel like, like turning up. Maybe they're all having having dinner or something. I think I think that's what it is. Um, this is Zeta Hyades, though. We need to go to planet 6. So 6B, I'm guessing, is that planet there. So let's go and test it out. See what happens. Oh god, here we go. Yep. Yep, there's there's guards. Oh my god! 